One new study showed that the disappearing of MS lesions might not be a good thing. One of my followers, RR, asked me about my take on it. You'll want to watch this entire video. I'm going to not only discuss it, but I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process I use to track my myelin creation. And myelin creation kind of makes the article a moot point. Hey, it's Steve. The article is called Disappearing Lesions May Actually Mean MS is Getting Worse. One quote from it says, when the lesions decrease over time, it's not because the patient is healing, but because many of the lesions are disappearing, turning into cerebrospinal fluid. It helps to understand the, how the brain and nerves work. Each fiber is wrapped in many layers of myelin. The lesions are specific points where the immune system has decided it wanted to attack. So much so that it's attacked all the way down to the nerve itself. But there's a bigger problem. The immune system is not just attacking those specific spots where lesions are formed, but their damage is happening all over the brain. That's why sometimes symptoms disappear and then will reappear. So the immune system is constantly on the offensive. Our defenses are still there, don't get me wrong, and they're working as hard as they can. But year after year, they just can't keep up. Let me show you my MRI scans dating back to 2013. And it shows my trend that I've been able to start and maintain so that my myelin making ability has the upper hand over my immune system. I will forever be telling you how great life feels now. But you want proof, right? The only way I can do that is show you the MRI. If you've ever asked your MS clinic for records of your MRI scans, you've probably been handed a CD containing a bunch of files you can't open. So let me tell you a little story. Back when I was first diagnosed, up until 2012, my scans were on film. Those have been thrown away long ago and are lost forever. But starting in 2013, I started going to the University of Washington MS Center and they recorded all my MRIs digitally. So when I moved to Tucson in 2016, they gave me a CD to take to my new neurologist. When I got the CD, I was so excited, I wanted to take a look. But the only problem was, I wasn't able to open the files. That's why my 2021 MRI video I just made, I stupidly said nothing had really changed. But yeah, I was wrong. So back to today. I figured out how to open the files and take a look. And they show a huge change. But here's what I did. I use a Mac running OS X. If you are too, you can do exactly what I did. You need to download a free program called Mila LXIV from the Mac App Store. I think 
it could work on iPhones and iPads as well, but I'm not sure. In the program, you will want to hit import. This is a tricky part. It all depends on how the institution that you did the scans at gives it to you. The scans I had done at Radiology here in Tucson provided them in a zip file. Super simple. I just selected the file and the program did it all on its own. But for the UW scans on the CD, it was trial and error. I selected each file one by one. A lot of them didn't do anything. But I finally was able to find one and it worked and they all imported. So my scans I'm going to show you. I'm going to use the Axe T1 of each year. T1 is when brain matter is light and cerebral spinal fluid is black. I think it sh is shows off my own creation the best. The way the ventricles are shaped in this particular slice is easily recognizable. So this is what I'll use. I scroll to it. Make sure to right click and go to window, width, and level. And make sure default is selected. Also make sure to select actual size. Then go to the export, export to JPEG. That will open the JPEG up in Photoshop. Select the eyedrop tool. I changed the sample size from point sample size to a 31 by 31 pixel average. I picked this spot. I don't know if there is a particular region is better or worse it doesn't matter where just make sure to it pick the same spot for every year use the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection now make a solid fill layer of the shade of gray you just selected go one by one through all the years you have The shades of gray sometimes don't change much. I didn't really see the full effect until I was entirely done. And I was shocked. I'll show you my final images and I'll explain you the timeline of events. So here we go. 2013. This is the year of our trip to Southern California, and Mom captured this clip of me with Crocker. But the trip was notable because not two weeks after we got home, I learned about weight loading and started lifting weights. The only problem was that I wasn't very consistent. For the longest time, it was more of an on again, off again type thing. 2014. Working out is really hard. I didn't feel changed to my MS yet. I was just hoping against hope that something would change. 2015. I'm still lost in fatigue. My spasticity is extreme. I often rest his leg kept me up at night. 2016, this is the year I really started feeling changes to my MS. I think those feelings made me realize that weight and lifting alone might be making changes to my MS. 2017, even though weightlifting was so crucial, I wanted more. I started reading online, starting research papers, and thinking to myself, 
This is one I adopted in my one meal a day diet. 2018. The OMAD diet quickly after I adapted cut down my fatigue. This is also when I bought my UVB lamp and set up my every other day weightlifting and UVB schedule. 2019. I bought my sleep phone headband and I started reading about the effects that sleep has on the oligodendrocytes, which are the cells that make myelin. I also started drinking four drops of Lugo's iodine solution. 2020. On June 13th, I started this channel. 2021. I thought to myself when I started this channel, I had completely healed my MS. And now I realize I'm not done yet. I still surprise myself, even to this day. Things are changing. I have this amazing feeling that rules my life now. I've come to embrace that this battle against my immune system will probably never stop. And I'm totally fine with that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.